Black and gold as far as the eye can see must mean we're in Pittsburgh for this matchup between the San Francisco 49ers and the Pittsburgh Steelers. We got a crossover conference game about to kick off here. Any thoughts before kickoff, Phil? Well, these two teams don't know each other very well. So when you don't know the other team real well, you know what happens? You get surprised. A lot of big plays. This will be fun to watch. Steelers setting up here for the kickoff. Fails to get out to the 20, and he is smacked down at the 15-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. And James is handed the football. They run right. He's got a little bit of daylight here. Unstoppable. And they're really setting the tone here early with the big running play that time. They took advantage, Jim, of a defense that's out of position. Nice job by the running back taking advantage of it, and he picks up big yards. LaMichael James is in the backfield. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. First and ten. He'll stay on the ground on first down, and he'll try it left. Picks up the first and still has some room to run. He steps out. What a way to start the game on offense, picking up another first down for them. They are in rhythm, and now no matter what they call, they're going to feel like they're going to make it happen. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Throwing now to his left. Kaepernick hits Crabtree with that pass. Well, this early in the game, to watch the opposing offense march down the field and get inside the 20, this keeps the defense, uh, they might be shaking a little, but if they stop them here to a field goal try or worse, that'll get their confidence back. Coming up, second down. Running to his right. He's got the touchdown. Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. Niners setting up for the kickoff. They're setting up the return. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Ben Roethlisberger takes a look down from under center. First and 10. Bell's got it on the handoff. That's a three-yard game. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Miller's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield, trying to work that left side. You took a few of these shots in your day. That's a late hit on the quarterback. 
Yeah, nowadays these guys, they I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. This to me, this is a bad call. Uh, the defensive player feel bad. You, all he's doing is his job, and he still gets penalized 15 yards. Able to move the chains after that penalty. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Second down, 10. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. When the football's in the air, the receiver on the curl route has to see it and come back towards the quarterback. That's what he did that time. That's why they got the completion. Miller's moved away from the tight end position to now a receiver in the slot. Breaks free. He stacked up at that point. Running backs who can pick up extra yards, they are so valuable. You can't always block everybody to the ground. The running back's got to do it himself sometimes. Nice job there by the running back. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than four touchdowns. Steelers put six on the board. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Defense. The penalty is the decline. That last play will hold up. Sean Sweezum readying his team for the kickoff. There is nothing like a good return when you talk about special teams. Good blocking, the speed of the returner gets down the field, and after that tackle, now they have good starting field position. Lined up in the pistol formation. The wide receiver in motion. First and ten. Michael James gets the carry. Tackles made. Good job by the safety. Diagnosing the run. Getting up outside and making the tackle for a short game. Colin Kaepernick under center. Throws to the right. Almost intercepted that time. And what you do in man-to-man -man defense sometimes, get up there and disrupt the wide receiver. Disrupt his rhythm, disrupt the timing, and what do you get? Another incompletion. Black round! Black round! Offense lines up here. Third and ten. Looking to the right side and throwing. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. LaMichael James is in the backfield as they go ground here. A foot race to the end zone. He's in for the score. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. The 49ers line up now for the point after. There is a flag out. You talk about momentum. That turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the suits. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now.
Offense lines up here. First down and 10. Bell's going to secure the handoff. He'll go to the left. That was a running play that time by the offense. It picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Left, left, left. Browns in the slot. Second and six. Eyeing that left side. He has the grab. They spot it at the 42. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left. Well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. Third and three. Quarterback hands. Ball's loose. And it's a takeaway. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. Well, in the old Steel Curtain era of Steeler football, they used to play at Three River Stadium. On the same site, they constructed Heinz Field. It is a decisive home field advantage for the Steelers. Split backfield here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Makes the catch in open space. Nobody was going to catch him there. Touchdown. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding him. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Steelers set to return the kick. And he begins his return. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Now first and 10. Looks to his left. Inhales the pass. That's a good job by the wide receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. Of course, he's taken the Steelers to two Super Bowls. The first time he went, he was the youngest coach ever to take a team to the Super Bowl and became the youngest to ever win the big game. Yeah, well, you understand, and, and, and I understand, too, why the Pittsburgh Steelers hired him. They met him. They knew he knew a lot about football, but they knew he could get it done in the emotional sense with the players. You blend those together, and you put talent on the field, which the Steelers have, you get great. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. Bells lined up directly behind the quarterback here. It'll be second and nine. Bells going to take the handoff now. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner, knowing where the first down was, gets it there, and he moves those chains. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. Could have been intercepted. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Second down after the incompletion. Dropping back three, working that left side. Almost intercepted. And that was a battle for the football, Phil. That time, the defense won out incomplete. Yeah, nice job, Jim. That time by the defensive back just being aggressive and get and making sure the receiver could not make the catch. Two, two. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. This defense you're playing against they're pretty good. So it's fourth down near midfield. Punt the football. Good 
quarters formation here for the defense. Let's go, let's go. The throw to the left. Change of possession coming up as they fail to pick up the first down on fourth down. Split backfield here. First and ten. Getting sacked. Well, it's just a race against time, isn't it? When the defense blitzes, can you get to the quarterback before he has time to recognize the blitz and throw it to a receiver? Flex round! Flex round! Michael James is in the backfield. James taking the handoff. They break through. Tackle him behind the line. Well, this defense all over that play. They tackle the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long. Advantage goes to the defense. Offense lines up here. And one Bolden with the catch. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Steelers' defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That pass play picks up the first down. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is I think he's going to be okay. And Once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. Davis is shifted from tight end to a receiver in the slot. Second down, 14. Balls on the ground. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. Always aware of the chains. He's got the catch, and he's got the first. That's a terrible job by the defense in the gym. I mean, you, you got third and over 10 yards. You don't get a pass rush. You don't cover him down the field, and you give up the first down. Well, Michael James swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Michael James is in the backfield. Quick drop back. He'll fire it out to the left. Touchdown. And what a touchdown there for the offense. The quarterback just fires that football in there. Look at the defenders around the receiver, but the receiver big enough, tough enough to go up in there and make that get. He'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. He's a dangerous returner and he'll have a chance to show you right here. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Miller's playing out of position in the backfield here. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's in the clear. They pounce on him there. 
Roethlisberger is almost impossible to bring down. So when he scrambles, he usually is good for a big chunk of yardage. Big Ben can get it rolling forward, can he? I'll tell you why. You know, he's nimble enough where he just makes that little move where you never get the big hit on him when he runs the football. Good job. Miller's a tight end, but lined up in the backfield for this play. Launching it deep. And it falls incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against his cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Miller's in the slot receiver role for this upcoming snap. Going across the middle. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Hurry up, let's go! Go! Roethlisberger's got it in the gun. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. Fourth and long, you got so...